So you've got a stiff neck. What are you going to do about it? Hi, my name is Helma Volga. I was a licensed massage therapist for 23 years and I'm also a certified nutritional coach. And I'm going to show you just a couple things of many things that you can do for your stiff neck. And I'm just going to show you a couple though. And most people blame the last thing they did, which was sleep. <laughs> Must have slept wrong. Uh, but actually, even though pillows and your bed is, is pretty important, uh, there's a lot more in life that's probably going on, like being hunched over a laptop or smartphone or, or whatever. But we're not going to get into that now. We're just going to get into your, your stiff neck. So, first of all, you know that the neck can move in many, many places, uh, up and down and sideways, and not only just straight, but it also curves to the side and to the back and all that stuff. So, there's almost an infinite number of directions that this head can turn. So, but, you want to look for the spots that hurt the most when you turn your neck, and or tilt your head or whatever, and some of them are probably going to be obvious to you right now. Some may not be so obvious. Uh, they might be a little subliminal. But anyway, what you want to do is, uh, on the side that's being stretched, you want to hold your arm down under a chair that you're sitting on. Otherwise, when you stretch your neck, your shoulder's going to come up with it. So you want to plant that shoulder down. Now, just try moving your head different ways until you find a spot that, oh, right there, maybe needs stretching. So we're not just going to stretch, stretch, we're going to stretch and resist. So you take your other hand, pull your head down without straining anything. Uh, you don't want to overdo a stretch. Never stretch beyond the point of comfort because you can rip something like muscle fibers. And muscles have a certain intelligence because they're full of nerves and this type of intelligence says I know when I'm going to be hurt and I don't like it I'm going to stiffen up and not stretch. So first thing you want to do is find your point that hurts on that side whatever one it is and if you're having headaches by the way tension headaches in the back of your head the top of your vertebrae the vertebrae below the skull the upper three vertebrae are the ones more involved with tension headaches and other parts of your face as well. But anyway, so you find the point, you stretch to the edge of comfort, and you only hold it there a few seconds, and then what you do is resist by trying to pull your head back to normal, but, they, it, but you can't because <laughs> your hand is pulling it down. So you want to use that muscle, especially the point that hurts, and pull back for just a couple seconds, two, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, whatever, and then stretch again. And you should get a further stretch because you've confused the muscle, you've made it work, so it's not resisting uh, the stretch so much. So you want to pull down and uh, hold it a little bit longer, maybe 10 seconds, and then stretch again backwards, back to normal, against your hand, and stretch again. And this last time you want to hold it maybe for 20 seconds. Now your other side, when you <laughs> get your head back, that may be unhappy now. So you want to find a spot on the other side and stretch it the same way. And I'm not going to do my whole neck, but you can find different places by tilting your head forward, finding ooh, a spot that maybe hurts there, or maybe tilting your head back a little, or pulling back so you're feeling the, the stretch against the front of your neck. Find the squeaky wheels and work on those because you're not going to be able to do your whole neck because there's way too many spots, right? Okay. Another thing that you can do is very similar, but involves turning your head. So you turn your head as far as comfortable, and then maybe push it a little farther with your hand, and then you want to resist against your hand by trying to turn your head back to the front, which of course it can't because you're fighting it with your hand. So the same way, do a few seconds at first, Stretch a little bit more, a little bit longer this time, maybe five seconds, ten seconds, whatever, and push again against it, and the last time maybe hold for twenty seconds. Uh, it's stretching as far as comfortable. Again, you don't want to rip any muscles. <laughs> no muscle fibers being ripped by 
being aggressive for your, for your stretch. You don't want to do that because that'll make you unhappier <laughs> than you already are. So I'm Hilma Volk. Subscribe if you want to, like the channel, share it with your friends, and if there's something you want to see, leave a comment below. Or leave a comment below anyway. <laughs> Adios.